Hey and welcome to another video. So in this video I'm going to make a small pocket torch out of this candy casing, a piece of plastic, two pieces of wire, one bent or not, a screw head and a 9 volt battery. But you'll see soon that 9 volt battery isn't necessary. You should use a lithium battery instead because the current of these 9 volt batteries is simply too low and did not satisfy me. So the first thing I did was I put the banded wire through the plastic and fixed it with hot glue and now we have to drill two holes for both wires into the white cap. So the whole thing will actually be an electrolysis box that generates hydrogen from an electrolyte in water and these are the electrodes and the piece of plastic simply separates the chambers and prevents gas from coming out of our refill hole which is the hole of the candy box. So I drill two millimeter holes and then I put the wire through and make everything tight with hot glue. So one thing is very important. This whole thing is pretty dangerous, so I recommend you not to do this at home or to repeat it. And I'm trimming the wire ends here to have a good fit and seal everything with hot glue, but back to the dangers. This gets boiling hot and there's always the risk of explosion because you work with hydrogen and open flames and there are corrosive substances that are created in the cell and it is very dangerous so you can easily harm yourself. So don't try this or if you repeat this you're completely responsible for any safety and you have to take care about yourself and people around you. So once this is connected with hot glue to the plastic, I drilled a third hole to mount the nut with the hole on top and that will be the exit of the hydrogen and there you can ignite it. So in terms of safety I will fill this with sodium chloride solution instead of sodium hydroxide because if this whole thing blows up, if it starts boiling or something else, I won't be splashed with sodium hydroxide. This will corrode the electrodes, uh, the sodium chloride of course, but it is a very slow corrosion, so this won't be noticeable in this video. That's the maximum fill height and the minimum fill height as well to separate the chambers and not to get into the section where both electrodes are in one chamber. So you should really fill just to this line. I added a 9 volt block connection and after I closed this up with hot glue I added a 9 volt block but it's really not a satisfying result and you'll see soon. So I'm going to fill this now to the black line with concentrated sodium chloride solution, which is table salt, really just table salt. There's a small hole I drilled in just for pressure removal on the side where no hydrogen is created, but this hole is unnecessary, as I found out later, so you don't have to drill this one. So now I'm going to add the 9 volt block, but as I said, either you use a lithium ion battery or you use the lab bench power supply as I did, but the 9 volt block does not work well because it simply does not provide enough amps to create enough hydrogen. You just see a slight flame discoloring. So you don't even have to add the 9 volt block connection. So here you see the characteristic orange of hydrogen, 
but it's not enough. And here it's with my lab bench power supply and this works out pretty well. And now I got the hydrogen ignition and I crank up the voltage to generate more hydrogen. This needs a while and you see it's a nice orange hydrogen flame. Here's some macro shot. Thank you for watching.